Promotion Golfer. My name is Eric with EJS Golf, and today I want to talk to you about grip, posture, and alignment. Yes, they can be boring, I hear, okay? Um, but they're also something that need to be, in my mind, perfected. Anybody can do these right. I don't care what your ability is, uh, coordination, anything. You, these can be correct, done correctly. They can be done at home, they can be practiced in front of TV. So I tell my students when I make a grip change with them is practice this in front of your television. Just sit there with a the grip and just get used to this new feeling. You know what I mean? Get, you can just sit there and do it. Let's talk about grip first, okay? Most of you are gonna wanna have the grip, the V, which is right here, pointing towards your right shoulder, okay, on your lead hand, okay? What is most important here is this. This part of the hand, call this the meaty part of the hand goes on top of the club. So you see it like this, on top, okay? And then I wrap my fingers, you look at these, going diagonally around. And I should be perfect coming right up here, okay? Now if I pull these fingers off here, and I leave just these two on, or just actually this one finger on, and I have it on my meaty part of my hand, look at the control I have. This is what I tell people to practice. It's just with one finger, okay? That's the kind of control you need of this club. Think about it, this is all you have is this grip in your hand to control. So there's grip, right hand real simple, hold it out in front of you, you're shaking somebody's hand, boom, put it on there. Don't oppose your right and left hand. Don't have a left hand that's pointed to here and your right hand is pointed over to this, uh, over to this shoulder. Have them going both the same way. Don't get underneath here with this hand. Just put on like you're shaking somebody's hand, they should be both pointing to the right like this, okay? To your right shoulder. Um, if you're neutral, that's okay. Just don't get weak, and this top has to be on. Don't want to see like this. Why? How your wrists are ever going to hinge properly. They don't. Okay? Once I get this on here right, look how easy my wrists hinge. This is 66% of your power right here, guys. Coming in. Right here. Okay? Okay, so it covers grip. Alignment. I've always uh, looked at alignment as a railroad track. When you're looking down, you're going to have the right track going right at your target. And this is a station I set up for, uh, for all my students, okay? And your left, you're going to be parallel left. So going towards the target here, and then I set my body at parallel left of that. So I set this, this line to stick right at my target, this one parallel left of it, and I check my hips. And shoulders, make sure they're aligned. Everybody tells you the feet, you gotta get your feet lined up right. Feet don't matter, guys. Hip, shoulders. I can stand like this all day long. Where are my hips? They're fine, and shoulders are fine, right? I can stand with perfect like this and go like this and be off. Don't ever let your feet tell you that you're correct in your alignment. It's your shoulders and your hips, okay? So let's get parallel left. Use this station. Guys, when I go to tour events, everybody is set up with a station like this for their alignment. They at least have one alignment stick down. Everybody. I go to the range to work with students, I don't see any alignment sticks down. Not any. The pros are working on these things that we think are mundane and that we don't need to work on maybe, but we do need to work on. So then let's just talk about posture. Posture is, I think, you know, Super, super important because we need to get this right hip behind us. What I see typically is people like this, sitting backwards. A lot of weight right here. See how behind I am? Look where my shoulders are. So I put this down here, coming down my knees instead of over here. Real simple way to do this, guys. Put your grip on there, your nice new grip. Good hands on there, feel comfortable. Okay, now put your arms extended out. Now let your arms just drop like this, okay? Now, we're gonna bend from our hips to the rest of the way to here. Now I should have said, I'm sorry, straight knees. Keep your knees locked, drop, still keep them locked, and now unlock it. Okay, so here I go. That's perfect posture, guys. Now that allows me to turn this hip deep. Why do I want that deep? So I have room to come down in here, if I don't, I'm going to be coming down like this over the top. I need to turn deep here with this right hip. If I'm sitting back, I can't turn deep. I'm going to be over the top, okay? Guys, 
super important things you can practice inside, and you guys can all nail this. You'll find that your swing can go off from day to day to day. And you're like, you know, I'm doing this drill, I'm doing this, I'm doing all this. What's the problem? Your shoulders may be so offline that you're having to make your mind, your subconscious making some kind of compensation that you're going to start pulling across it now. Next thing you know, you're over the top and slicing it. You can't figure out why. So before you go play, always check your alignment, okay? Uh, grip, get that meaty part on top of the cuff so you have some uh, control of that golf club, okay? And alignment, you just got the railroad tracks, okay? Guys, it's a pleasure that you have me as your golf coach. Thank you. Um, I'm always looking at PPI. I love watching it going up, and then you guys are improving. So thank you.